They said 91 was the new 60. I don't know where they got that, honey. 91 is the new 30. I'm 100 years old. How about 100 is the new 98? Norman, wasn't it just two years ago that you won your most recent Emmy? You mean I'm the oldest person to have won an Emmy? How about that? We're still doing cool stuff. In fact, at 85 years old, I'm just about to make my London stage debut. I'd like for you to know that I got my star on Hollywood Boulevard, child. Y'all make it look so easy. Would y'all please tell this young man of 70, how do y'all do it? I'm a mere child of 74, so do tell. Well, along with the rich multitude of characters I've had the privilege to bring to life, I've never stopped writing my own story. And for me, it gets more interesting every day. You know, if I were to brag, it would be about the numbers of glorious people that were part of my reaching this moment. You know, we don't do anything alone. Preach, Norman. Despite the fact that I'm the youngest one in this group, I do believe it's time pop culture get past this fascination with youth. But if you're stuck on youth, I'm still worth checking out, if I do say so myself. You're looking real good, George. But all of us are more than what we show on the outside, and so are the characters we need to portray. I mean, pardon me for having an inner life, but that's what makes drama. We have never stopped living a life that's vibrant and complex, honey. And we've never stopped getting stuff done, even if we may need a little help every once in a while. We're still in the game, and it feels good, too. It feels so good. Let me tell you something, young folks. You don't want to write us off. Mm -mm. In fact, you should write us in. Write us into your scripts. I always said the work was its own reward, but I would like an Emmy, so writers, if you're out there listening, write something. I want an Emmy, all right? We can still define beauty, passion, even sex. Tell me more. Later, George. Or talk to my husband. Or mine. <laughs> you know, when you've lived a while, heartbreaks, setbacks, tragedies, and triumphs, they all take on a deeper resonance. And this complexity that goes along with aging, it needs to be in the stories. You need to hear about it. When we make space for stories about extraordinary older people, we envision a future full of passion and vitality. We can reframe society's views of aging and rethink what is possible. I'm looking forward to the stories we'll tell tomorrow, aren't you? It's never too late for life, and with some help from above, it's never too late for love. Live long and prosper. Good night. <laughs> <laughs>